Immune activation is an interesting phenomenon that we really did not appreciate. The first research study that I did in HIV was to note that individuals, and this was before we even identified the virus, before the virus was identified by Gallo and Montagnier and others, that people had what looked like an aberrant activation of their immune system. There, everything was turned on. It was sort of a paradox, because when you think of an immunodeficiency, you don't think of the immune system being turned on. But it was turned on aberrantly, so that when the virus replicates, it activates a cascade of inflammatory and immunological reactions with the secretion of proteins called cytokines, which have an enormous impact on the regulation of the immune system. That immune activation is terribly detrimental. First of all, it drives the replication of the virus. It causes immune dysfunction. It causes T cell depletion. And it is responsible for many of the later, rep uh, later repercussions of disease, such as cardiovascular disease, which, quite frankly, is also due to a degree of inflammation, particularly when the endothelial cells get hyperactivated. So immune activation that we didn't realize it early on, is a major engine in driving the disease process of HIV.